Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well, folks, as I mentioned last week, it seems like this week the fishing has gotten a little bit uh, more difficult than the week before. But guys are still going out having success, and really the key has been learning how to fish the weeds. Weeds, weeds, and more weeds. Uh, a lot of guys are starting to get acclimated to that and finding out the true success to finding out, uh, figuring out where these bigger walleyes are hanging out at. Uh, some of the lakes that have been producing walleyes this past week up in the northeast include uh, Bitter, Wabe, Reitz, Indian Springs, Dry by uh, Florence, uh, as well as a few by Clark, and then also Reed Lake. And then on the southeastern part of the state, uh, lakes include uh, Ponset, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, and be aware of that. It's gotten pretty shallow up there, so especially for that sunken roll, be aware of that. And then also Thompson, 81 Pond, Sinai, Oakwood, uh, Brant, as well as Island. And what have guys been using? Uh, again, the key has been learning how to fish the weeds. A lot of guys have been pulling spinners with bottom bouncers uh, right along the weed edge, uh, using uh, you know one hook or two hook, depending on the, the bait you're using, leeches versus crawlers. Uh, other uh, presentations that have worked well have been uh, using slip bobbins right in amongst the weeds and then also throwing swim baits or crank baits along the weed edge or in the weed gap. So again, the key had this past week has been fishing the weeds, in the weeds, and along the weeds. As far as the uh, panfish bite is concerned, guys are catching some crappie at Thompson, Ponset, Sinai, and Vermilion. And again, the shiny honey has been the lure uh, to really go to that has been producing the most crappie. And then the perch bite continues to pick up a little bit. Uh, Big Stone, Ponset, and Thompson. And by the way, we will have waxworms in this week. So if you're looking for waxworms, give us a call or stop by here at the store. And as I mentioned earlier, folks, a lot of guys have been using a lot of swim baits, uh, fishing the weeds, and coming away with some really nice fish. And so we're going to talk about uh, swim baits in this version of Todd's Tackle Tips. Now, there's a number of different swim baits out there in the market. The walleye assassins are very popular. Uh, the Uncle Josh uh, jerk minnows are also popular, and then the lunker hunts. Those are just a few of the swim baits that are out there. Uh, then also you can get the, the swim baits by uh, Northland that are already pre-rigged. But those that are not pre-rigged, the key really is the jig itself. The jigs, you can get them in a number of different companies. Uh, by Slowpoke here uh, is a very popular one, but probably the one that I use the most are the ones by BMC. The reason why is because of the gap uh, of the hook as well as the bait keeper. And the key in the success on the making sure that you're going to catch fish is how you rig it. And that's what I'm showing you on the video on the left, is that you can rig it two ways. One, the first way is not weedless, just with the hook coming out the top side. Works really well. But then the, the second thing is, the, the second part of the video is going to show you how to do a weedless jig. And that's what a lot of guys have been using uh, up there fishing the weeds. And when you're throwing right in the weeds, you're not having to worry about getting hung up. You can use either way. You'll have to fight through the weeds and take the weeds off the hook, but I can guarantee you, if you get that plastic to swim horizontal like you want it to be, you'll have great success in finding those big walleyes in the weeds this time of year. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to toddandtocodeangler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And as we end this week's report, I want to remind you of a couple of things. The ongoing sales that we have here at the store. Take a look. Stop on by and take a look at what's on sale. And also remember that it's not too late to order your flaccid crawlers or even leeches. And folks, honestly, leech season looks like it may be coming to an end real soon. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to buy any large uh, quantities of leeches in the coming weeks. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we'll also have waxworms this week. And so again, if you're looking for anything like that, make sure you stop on by here at the store at 1120 East Benson Road here in Sioux Falls. If you have any questions, give me a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner of Todd High Camp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching.